Hi, it's Carol from bookreporter.com and I'm here to share what you're gonna see on the site on Friday, October 25th. First up, we've got The Deserter from Nelson DeMille and Alex DeMille. Yes, Nelson is writing with his son Alex, who's a screenwriter, and it's been such fun to watch their first collaboration. This is the first in a new series that they're writing, and The Deserter really takes you off the grid. You're off the grid in Venezuela, where we've got an operative that, well, like all of Nelson's characters, kind of works on his own time and kind of breaks a lot of rules, and he and his female partner are on the run looking for a soldier that escaped in Afghanistan and walked away one day and he's now been spotted in Caracas and they need to find him to figure out well why and what does he know and now they're going to be trying to put all these pieces together and it's not anything that what people are thinking I usually flip through and read really quickly this book I found myself slowing down to read because there's so much happening and there's so much detail I read an early arc and I'm really happy to see that there's a map of Venezuela inside here because I found myself looking at Google Maps and trying to trace what was happening and what was going on because this is unknown territory to me. I don't know much about Venezuela except for the fact that there's a lot of unrest there these days and as a result, our characters are constantly uh, like in the face of danger because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know who the good guys are, who the bad guys are. Don't I just love the cover of this book? Does it work for my like, you know, uh, personal palette? Really terrific. I'm looking forward to hearing what readers are thinking about it as well. First in a series, two more to come, and they're working on them already. Next up, we've got The Night Fire from Michael Connolly. And this is a Rene uh, Boward and Harry Bosch series title. So we've got two of his big protagonists together, once again solving a story. I don't know about you, but I am crazy about Bosch on Amazon Prime. It's one of the things that I really look forward to watching. So I feel like Harry's coming even more to life for me now on the pages, just because I've been watching the series as well. Um, always, always a good thriller. So looking forward to seeing what you think about this one. Me by Elton John. Elton John's autobiography. So happy to have our review for you this week. This book was embargoed, which is the reason we didn't have it when it came out last week. Um, it was really funny. The day this came out on Tuesday, every station I played on the radio was playing an Elton John song. Now, I don't know if that's something the publisher set up or if it was just extremely funny that that was happening at the same time as I was driving, but really insightful biography. He's really looking into um, himself. It's introspective. It's what his child was like growing up and him in the world of music. As we know, he is on his, I think it's three year goodbye tour. So besides the goodbye tour, here's his really, really strong biography of just who me is. From John Le Carre, we've got Agent Running in the Field. I really like this cover. And I understand that this has got a little bit of wit and humor in it as well. So looking forward to seeing what you think about it. Next, we've got A Cruel Deception from Charles Todd. It's their latest Best Crawford Mystery. Um, here we've got, you know, they're a mother-son writing team. So we've got a father and son at the beginning of our, our uh, preview this week. And we've got a mother and son at the end of our preview this week. Lots, lots, lots more to share. I'm going to have a new recipe for you. And I'm going to try and decide if I want to get one of those turquoise pumpkins for my front porch. I want it just because it's per turquoise, but it means that you've got allergy-free treats at your house. And I am trying to decide if I want to have allergy-free treats or I'm going to go still for my peanut M&Ms. You'll see if the decision is on Friday. Looking forward to seeing you then. Thanks, everyone.